Hi, welcome. We all have bad habits, but there are certain behaviors in midlife that can worsen perimenopause and menopause. Here are 10 of them. One, taking your phone to bed with you. I am so guilty of this one, if I'm being honest. It's a hard habit to break, but it is worth the effort because it does affect sleep and sleep is already an issue in perimenopause and menopause. The phone emits a blue light, which suppresses the production of melatonin, the hormone that controls the sleep-wake cycle. And scrolling your phone in the middle of the night is keeping your brain stimulated and engaged, all of which can increase problems falling asleep and staying asleep. Two, not drinking enough water. Most of us are incredibly busy and drinking water is not exactly at the top of our minds until we actually feel thirsty but it should be. Low estrogen affects the regulation of water in the body, making dehydration much more likely in midlife, increasing fatigue, hot flashes, muscle cramps, joint pain, and exercise intolerance. Drink your water, ladies. Three, the infamous caffeine addiction. Coffee is a staple for many women, and I don't know about you, but I have a really rough time saying no to chocolate. Wherever you're getting your caffeine, it can exacerbate perimenopause and menopause symptoms. Increases in heart palpitations, hot flashes, anxiety, irritability, nervousness, and sleep disruptions are common. And on the flip side, skipping your dose of caffeine too often can lead to withdrawals that are no joke. Headaches, jitters, poor concentration, fatigue, and anxiety are already issues for many in perimenopause and menopause and caffeine withdrawal can heighten all of them. I made the decision some time ago to switch from coffee to green tea, and boy, I'm glad I did. Four, the sweet tooth. Many of us have this bad habit. I eat well 90% of the time, but if I'm being honest, sometimes my sweet tooth wins, causing me to sneak a little chocolate treat. Sugar is not our friend but it's so addictive. High blood sugar, high cholesterol, hot flashes, headaches, digestive issues, PMS, acne, and brain fog are all on the list of perimenopause symptoms, and eating sugary foods exacerbates every single one. If you're trying to ease these particular symptoms, saving sugary foods for a rare treat is probably a smart move. Five, laying down and resting when you're stiff and sore. It's human nature to want to rest when we're hurting, but with joint pain and muscle pain being much more prevalent in perimenopause and menopause, resting too much might be making you hurt more. Joints tend to become stiffer when you don't move them. Adding a bit of yoga to your routine is a perfect solution in my opinion. Yoga is a gentle exercise that will help keep the joints lubricated and moving and strengthen the muscles around them. Six, skipping meals. There are many reasons for this bad habit. Nausea, lack of appetite, stress, or just being too busy and forgetting to eat. Whatever your reason, you may be making your perimenopausal or menopausal experience much worse. Not eating for long periods of time can increase episodes of low blood sugar, low blood pressure, dizziness, shakiness, and irritability. It can also put the body into starvation mode lowering metabolism and causing weight gain, fatigue, and low energy. Seven, stress eating. High stress increases cortisol, which can increase cravings for sugary and fatty foods. This can lead to an exacerbation of blood sugar imbalances, high cholesterol, hot flashes, digestive complaints, fatigue, acne, and high blood pressure. Eight, enjoying more than the occasional alcoholic beverage. Although the occasional glass of red wine can be beneficial due to the anti-inflammatory effects of antioxidants. Too much alcohol can increase the incidence and severity of hot flashes, interrupt sleep, and exacerbate anxiety and depression. Nine, snacking late at night. I do like a snack in the evening, but eating too close to bed can worsen menopausal sleep issues. When you snack before bed, the muscles that digest and metabolize food have to keep working rather than resting. The result, you have a much harder time falling asleep and getting a restful sleep. 10, smoking. 
It gives the nervous system a jolt and amplifies anxiety, hot flashes, and mood swings. It also impacts sleep and affects the skin. Even small tweaks and minor improvements to these 10 bad habits can go a very long way in helping to ease perimenopausal and menopausal symptoms. Let me know in the comments if you have any bad habits that you think are making your perimenopause or menopause a lot harder than it has to be. If you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe. I make content on all things midlife and menopause. Thanks for watching everyone. I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.